Hi everybody, it's Diane. Well, we're going into My Singing Monsters. Um, we are in just the last day of getting Hula and Rare Hula and our Earth Island will go back to its normal state. Uh, we are going into um, My Singing Monsters. Yep, I was already in this game and uh, so uh, it'll reopen now back into um, one of my email games <clears throat> this is not my main game um, what I realized was <clears throat> kind of going through it um, I do have hmm, five or six games that I have actively well five active uh, my singing monsters games um, <clears throat> that I am playing all at the same time. Some of them I don't uh, play or decorate or play quite the same as I do my main game. My main game I, you know, have decorated and pay attention to um, the looks of my islands, but I don't always do that um, in some of my other games. So I'm thinking I need to go into my additional games and kind of pay attention to them. I went into Gold Island and realized that. Um, Someone asked me just the other day if I knew if ethereal, rare ethereals, if there was a goal for rare ethereals. And there is not, um, but there are goals for lots of other things. And I realized that there were quite a few monsters that I had not placed on Gold Island yet to receive those goals. So I've been working on that and also working on adding... Um, the floofy nest, the tub fountain, and the ambered thing to uh, achieve additional goals for those as well. Um, so we are going into decorations. I think the last decoration I need to purchase is the tub fountain, which is alike for the rare quarster. And my rare quarsters, I have many of them here in this game, and they're only 75% happy. It's because I've neglected to give them a $50 million tub fountain. <laughs> So we are doing that. You'll notice my coins don't change because I am well over the 2 billion coin mark. And my coin totals will not change as far as I can see uh, until I go below 2 billion. Um, but they do increase. My Anytime I collect coins, those coins are increasing. I just don't see them increasing. So let's find a place for Tub Fountain. How about right there? Oh, right behind Humbug, kind of kind of invisible. And then I see a hula I haven't fed. So I will feed her real quick. Light a few torches, thank some torch lighters. Then we're gonna pop over to Gold Island and place a couple more monsters and then collect all of my goals that you see. Nine goals over here flashing, but we're going to have maybe uh, 11 or 12 goals. So let's light some torches. I be bopping. Thanks again, torch lighters, for uh, always lighting my torches. You guys are so amazing. All right, so what what, other, what else do we have to do here? Um, so, yes. Place. Oh, I don't have room. I'm not surprised. <clears throat> hmm. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll go back and breed here. Let's wait and let's just try one breeding here retry yes and got a pom-pom okay so nope we're not going to speed up but okay so we've added um tub fountain let's see what my other goals are let's just see what see, i can collect them i'll collect them in a minute um Oh, a gel billy. Oh, I don't have a gel billy. Uh huh. A ma, a pummel, and a dandy do. So we're going to go do that. 
Dragoon statue. Oh, a dragoon statue. I don't remember who likes the dragoon statue. Hmm. So what I do is I go to my MSM guide, which is an amazing um, guide for us that tells us um, who likes what, uh, who the monsters are. Um, it gives us all of the monsters likes, which is an outstanding uh, help. Um, so I'm just going to go into decorations in the uh, official guide and see who likes Dragoon Statue. So I'm going to go here to uh, uh, more and then decorations. And in alphabetical order, you'll see <clears throat> Dragoon Statue, Ma, T-Rox, Sugatar, Rare Octopus, Dragong, Rare Araculele, Um, yeah, maybe we'll go to Ethereal Island and add the drag, the, uh, <clears throat> Dragoon statue. Okay, so let's open up my singing monsters, rotate my screen. Okay. So let's go pop over to <clears throat> Ethereal Island. Go. Oh good, then we'll collect some shards. I've been out of town um, for eight days and am just now back in town. I was actually camping for five days in, in a place where I had no cell service um, for five, six days. Um, but now I flew back home last night and I'm home and I have cell service again. I can make a couple videos here. Um, market. Decorations. Four hundred shards, okay. And we'll drag this guy over here. Okay, so now we have ten golds there. Okay. Now let's do a uh, map and head over to Gold Island and place a few monsters here, a ma, a pummel, and a dandy do. Okay, so place. I have 109 monsters I could place on this island at this time. But I'm not going to place all of those. There's Dandy Doo. Pummel, rare pummel. And then let's find a ma. And then we'll go collect those goals. And I'm going to go back in and finish placing a few more monsters here on this gold island. Rare ma. Okay, so did I get everybody? Let's look, let's check and see. So when I am generally starting new games, a new game, one of my things is besides spending every coin on baking initially for the first few months, is I try and um, get the four element monsters and level one of each to level 15 and then I can collect three million coins and when I get those three million coins I take that um, amount and will buy the new islands or the upgrades for the new castles on the other islands 
Um, so those are always goals for me is to get a monster to level 15 and place him on gold to collect those. So you'll see here um, the... Uh, Flog is um, a, a two element monster. Uh, Pummel, Kongol. Kongol is a three element monster and you get two million coins. Um, the one and two element monsters, the first one of each that you place on Gold Island, you get a million coins. The three element monsters, the first of each one that you place, you get two million coins. And that's the first uh, Kongol. It, it could be a rare Kongol or a normal Kongol. Um, they both pretty much are the same for this goal. It doesn't matter if you placed a rare or a um, normal uh, Congo, you'll get two million for the first one of either one of those, not both. A Reedling is a three element monster, so I'm getting two million coins for my Reedling. Um, Cybop is a two element. Scups is a three element. I get two million coins. So that's a lot of coins I'm going to collect right now, based on the fact that they're the first time first time I place them on Gold Island. You aren't going to see my total transition at all because it stops at the 1 billion 999 million um but it, the trust me the it does um accrue um unfortunately my xp um uh will i guess it does matter i haven't reached max in that so that's good J raises up my uh level there so i'm going to go ahead and collect all my rewards now I have a few more goals uh, having to oh there's the dragoon statue um, I still have a few more rewards um, regarding Wubux but that's I probably won't be doing that in this game um, I have done it in my main game but it takes so many of my monsters if you power up a Wubux on Gold Island um, and destroys my islands uh, because they actually are gone forever once you take an island a uh, monster off an island if i take a monster here and feed it into here he's gone off of this island and he's gone off of the main island where that monster came from so it just takes a lot of um coin earning monsters out of my game and um yeah, so I just don't do that. So the, I do have them displayed as an unpowered up Wobux there. But uh, all right, you guys, that's it. I just wanted to share that with you, showing you a few goals, encouraging you to um, do lots and lots of baking, um, breed lots of four element monsters. Best way to make money is to spend money on feeding and breeding lots of the four element monsters. And then once your island is a coin-making machine, then go back and breed all the other monsters. Um, but remember, always baking. Um, all right, you guys. Have a really great day. Um, good to be back. Um, I will talk to you soon. Oh, don't forget, rare hula and hula. Let's go back and just take a look at them one more time. Are leaving us very soon. Um, in about... Uh, well, less than 24 hours anyway, I'm thinking. Let's just take a look. Hula. Um, info. Oops. Got to go to market. Silly Diane. <clears throat> market. Monsters. And one day. And one hour. <laughs> we'll be able to breed hula and rare hula for just one more day and then summer will be over and it's back to school for many i know the kids here where i live go back to school tomorrow and uh, first day of school so all right you guys have a great day see you soon bye